So hello guys, Saurav here and welcome back to my channel called Electrocode. So guys, in this video, we're gonna discuss about ultrasonic humidifier module or some people used to call it mist making circuit slash module. Okay, so let's discuss about this. So let's get some basic idea about ultrasonic humidifier cesoelectric transmitter module. First of all, it works on the principle of cavitation produced by sound waves. Second, it needs 3 to 12 volt power supply. And this is an automizing chip, the size of it can vary the value of resonant frequency and resonant impedance that it's create. Okay, so let's see what is cavitation means and then we will go to its principle. So let's see what does it mean by cavitation. So basically here you can see a boat is moving on a water body and while it's moving it creates water bubbles through its propeller. So when the propeller hits the water surface, it creates vibration and through that vibration a sound wave occurs and through that sound wave the water bubbles were created. So as we try to understand this, as the oscillation speed increases to a level where the water particles can no longer follow the oscillating surface or it exceeds the oscillation uh, limit of the water a momentary vacuum and a strong compression occurs leading to an explosive formation of air bubbles. This is the basic concept of cavitation. So let's check this working principle of the cesoelectric material. In this video you can see we are supplying a cesoelectric material with an AC power source. So what happens when we supply a cesoelectric material with an AC power source? It starts to vibrate. In this case the electrical energy been converted into mechanical energy. All right. So here you can see the frequency of that AC signal is now equal to the frequency of the cesoelectric material. So here the high frequency electrical signal being converted into high frequency mechanical oscillation. So now if we put that vibrating cesoelectric material inside a water body, what will happen? Now the sound waves contain refraction and compression due to which an extremely rapid movement inside a water body can be seen due to which the droplets can no longer sustain their liquid state and it will be converted into vapor immediately. In this case when the water oscillation limit exceeded its value then it will start to become vaporized. So this is the working principle of a humidifier circuit. So now let's see some of these features of our humidifier circuit. It contains low noise operation, small fog particles, high stability and low operation life and many more. So let's test this circuit and let's see the output. 